way ye are departed out of the way. What is the way that we depart from? The way of the Bible, keeping God's laws. We step away from that. Go ahead. Therefore have I also made you contemptible and base before all the people. He says, because of that, I will make you despised. I will make you hated. And I will make you in the bottom of all the people. Uh, majority of people that here are immigrants, even them themselves don't belong here. They took the land from the natives, and which is our brothers. And yet they're calling you an immigrant just to show you the hypocrisy in there. I, I want to get more in a personal level with you, because I'm from I'm, I'm from Haiti myself. Meaning, I didn't just uh, come from a, a, a so-called Haitian descent. I was raised there for a good little amount of time. You could even hear it in my accent, right? So, now here's what I'm gonna say to you: Why? Do you find a lot of us here in America are in such a comfortable position where we don't find it uh, very important to seek God? Why do you think? It's the land of free. Right, you're right. It is the land of the free. We are being spoiled. And, 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 and to answer that more deeply, that we don't feel like we need to see God more here than those over there. If God knows over there have a heart, so they have to see God a little bit but more. Did you, but did you know God put you in this position for a reason? Meaning, the more you know, the more you can help. I don't mean help. Uh, yes, that comes along to us as far as financial, but that's not, that's not good enough. Because we've been doing that for a long time and nothing happened. There is a saying, Teach a man, uh, uh, give him a, a fish. He will ask again tomorrow, but teach him how to fish. He'll be able to survive for himself. But think about what's going on in Haiti right now. Do you think that's I just? I have some friends that I converse with almost every day. You up with every day. Every so, so what's what's going on in Haiti right now? They don't walk around with walking in their homes with no floor. What's going on in Haiti right now? Just so much. I mean, like I said, when they come to their living. Have to live, like, and I have to sit up here on the phone and FaceTime and see this kind of stuff. Why a lot of us are here in America, in the island, um, um, in, in Mexico, South America, um, in the Central of America, why do you find us all these areas? Because it's hard. Wherever, back, where they really... Why? Why? Sin. Sin? Yes, it is sin. But... Give me something that any regular people can understand. Why are they going to those places? What are they looking for? A way out. A way out, a living. A better way of living. Meaning, we all suffer something. Let me show you. I'm sure if someone's touching up on it, I'm gonna go a little bit deeper so you see what position you play in it. How you don't change can cause brothers and sisters to continue to suffer even more. That's what I want to point out. Because a lot of, a lot of time, we think like I'm just one person, not knowing you play a huge impact on the suffering of our brothers and sisters. Watch this. Uh, no, go, go to Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15. And then I'm going to jump. I think you read that already, right? Watch this, watch this. I'm going somewhere with that. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15. This is Moses. Our forefathers, Moses was from the tribe of Levi, like you and I, right? Moses, God give Moses all these sayings and speak to the children of Israel. Let them know the do's and don't, okay? Now, this is one of the don't is telling Israel, read. But it shall come to pass, if thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So what Moses is saying here is 
It's a small word that have a strong, strong base, a strong meaning. It says if, the stipulation is if. If you don't do those things that I'm about to tell you, if you don't do God's laws and commandment, these things that I'm about to tell you are gonna happen to you and only you. It's gonna happen to. Who is he talking to? The children of Israel. Now that's how we identify ourselves in the Bible. Because nobody else can attend to those things that we're reading about. I'm gonna give you an example. Jump down to verse 32. No, ver verse 30. Verse 30. Thou shalt betroth a wife, and another man shall lie with her. And thou shalt build an house, and thou shalt not dwell therein. Now, question I'm gonna ask you. Uh, you born here? Were you born here? No, it's part no. Uh, were you born in Haiti? I was born in Florida. Florida. Yeah. But your parents are the ones that are born from Haiti. Yeah. Okay, watch this, watch this. So you might not know the, it would have been better to say that to someone that was born there and go to school there. Okay, but I'm gonna ask you anyway. Do you know what type of affliction that we uh, uh, go through during the time of slavery in Haiti? Why not? We should. Um, in America, we knew what the so-called blacks, what you call African-American went through. They know that. Why don't we? Huh? Was yes. Do you know who create our curriculum? The Frenchmen. The same group of people that we went to war with. Do you think they're gonna teach you your history? Nah. Because if they teach you what we just about, what we just read, because it says your wife will be taken from you, another man will sleep with her, and nothing you can do about it. Yes, that happened to us too. That's how you have those what you call mulattoes. Bring it out! Uh, in Haiti. That happened to us too. But guess what? We don't know that because they took they took the atrocity that we went through so we all continue with the anger toward them. All they give us is, oh, we won the war. Keep us in a high level without knowing why we, why we had to fight them off is because of what we were going, what we were going through. So strategically, what they did was very, very wise. They removed that part out so you don't remain angry toward them. What do you find us doing today? If you really want to go uh, somewhere, you got to go to friends. That's why a lot of our people always go to friends and they're always acting like they are bourgeois. They are class. If you don't speak French, you low class. You didn't go to school. That's how all these things are done to separate us as a people. Now, I'm going somewhere with that. Finish with the, uh, uh, jump to verse 32. Verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. When did that happen? When did that happen? It says your children will be uh, taken from you and given to another people. When did that happen? I don't know, but I know it's it happened during slavery, and it's still going on today. No. Do you know what happened during the earthquakes? When they went, uh, uh, those missionaries go to Haiti, you know what they were doing? They were taking our children. Worst of it, the parents didn't mind because they knew they were better off with them than, than with them. Not knowing they were using our kids for sex trafficking organs. Would you have given your kids away if you knew that was the, the reason? No. But guess what? The Bible says, read it again. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Uh -huh. And thy eyes shall look and fail when longing for them all the day long. Show you we weren't going to be happy with it. But we have no choice. Another people in a different race. A different race. That's right. Those different races are the so-called white people. You know it. They were all over Haiti. You know how much money they raised for Haiti? How much money went, went down uh, uh, to the people down there? They built only a community that have maybe about six houses. And they raised over a billion dollars. The scripture tell you these will be the curse that will fall upon them. Now give me, I'm going to show you something. Go to, go to Genesis chapter 49, and I'm going to show you why we are scattered all over. It's a curse. The curse that we just read in uh, 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 
uh, Deuteronomy 28. That's upon us. But what are you going to do when you find out? Watch this. The book of Genesis, chapter 49, verse five. Verse five. Simeon and Levi are brethren. What's going on with the so-called Dominican Republic today with the Haitian? They are war. They are war with each other, right? Uh, you hear about the, uh, the canal that uh, canal that we were trying to uh, build. We we're having a problem with them. They say, no, you can't build it. Yet, it's a part of both land. That thing goes in between the land. Just to show you, there is a hatred going on between the brothers. But the scripture is going to tell you here, it says, Simeon, go to verse 1, so my brother can get the context of the whole chapter. I'm not going to read the whole, I'm going to read a few verses, like about three verses. Watch this. IUIC TV. Genesis chapter 49 verse 1 uh -huh. And Jacob called unto his sons and said Gather yourselves together That I may tell you That which shall befall you In the last day So Jacob was talking to his children You know the 12th tribe of Israel Bring it out. He says come together Come around me I'm going to give you guys the prophecy Of what's going to happen to you In the latter day So Jacob see us in the latter days. He see us right now. He see what was going to happen to us, our forefather. That's Listen right. to what our forefather Jacob, Israel, what he says to his children. Go ahead, jump to verse 5. Verse 5, Simeon and Levi are brethren. We already know that. Because yeah. we are from, from the from same father, right? He says, those two are brethren. Who are the uh, Simeon, Simeonites? Come and look. Come and look. See who that is. Tell me. I want you to tell me who that is. He says, Leave, Simeon and Levi are brethren. Where do you find Simeon on the board? Where? Do, where? Who are they? The, uh? No, 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 no. Uh, Simeon. 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 Where do you find Simeon? Dominicans. Dominicans. Remember what the scripture just said here. It says, Simeon and Levi are brethren. Dominicans are the so-called, uh, and the, the so-called Dominicans are the uh, 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 Simeonites, right? And the Haitians, so-called Haitians are what? Levi. Read that scripture again. How are you doing today, my brother? Listen to what we're going over right now. We're showing the, what's going on in, within our brothers. Believe it or not, you also are brothers. Where do you find yourself on the board here? First one. Judah. Okay, watch this. That don't go anywhere, man. What I'm going over right now pertains to you. Watch this. The same thing. All of us going through the same thing. Read that again. Simeon and Levi are brethren. So he's saying the so-called Dominicans and the so-called Haitians, they are brothers. But yet, what do you find we're doing? We're fighting with each other. We instruments of cruelty are in their habitations. It says instrument of cruelty are in their habitation, meaning they got short temper. The so-called Haitian and the so-called Dominican Republic, they have shot. Before you know it, they'll pull out a machete and want to cut you. That's them. The scripture telling you. The scripture telling you their characteristic, okay? And guess what? Their instrument also goes into voodoo. They do voodoo, and then for the uh, uh, Dominican Republic, they do voodoo idea. That's another form of voodoo, okay? How do we use it? We use it toward our own self. We don't use it for the enemy. We use it for ourselves to kill each other. Go ahead. Oh, my soul, come not down into their secrets. God says you don't want to get into their secrets because those secrets are dangerous. Go ahead. 
unto their assembly. My honor, be not thou united. God says they're not gonna be united. We on the same island, but we are separate. You see one island look like it's flourish, the other island look like really bad. And we'll touch up the night, you're gonna see why, read. For in their anger, they slew a man. So but, uh, what I meant to say also is telling you, even though they are on the same island, they will be divided. They're not gonna be together. I'm gonna get to you too. Why we going over? Also yeah, pretend no, to you. I Pay attention. Hey, in their self will, they dig the down a wall. Uh huh. Cause be uh -huh. their uh -huh. anger, for uh -huh. it was fierce. Uh huh. And their wrath, for it Pay was cruel. I will divide them and Jacob. You hear what the Bible just said? Just, I will divide them and Jacob. Who is Jacob today? I want you to read those signs. You see what I'm talking about. Uh, not, not what God called them. I want you to, what they call them in this thing. Yes. Name, name those countries. Yes. You have America. That's where you have the African American is. Yes. Puerto Ricans. Dominicans. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay, now, you see all these countries, right? God says he will divide them in Jacob. Now, question you should ask yourself. Tell me one of those areas here that's mentioned to fight Haitians among them. Tell me. Tell me where, which of those countries that mentioned here that you would not find Haitian among them to show you how the curse is in full effect. About the so called Haitians. Cuba. Cubans, they're also in Cuba. Okay. Haitians are in Cuba. Yeah, uh, they're in Guatemala. They're in Guatemala. They're in Argentina. They're in, Argentina. Mexican they're in Mexico. Mexico. They're in Chile. Well, see, they're in Brazil. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. You know why? It's a curse for the so called Haitians. God says, I will curse you because you, here's, here's the curse. I think Officer was going over it earlier. Go to Malachi chapter 2. I'm going to show you the curse that was put upon us to connect it and to uh, present. Watch this, we're almost done. Malachi chapter two, verse eight. No, so verse one and out, you're gonna jump. Just verse go. one, and now, O ye priests, this commandment is for you. So we know he's talking about to, to the so-called Haitian. The priests were the Levites, and the Levites are the so-called Haitian. Go ahead. If you were not here, and if you would not lay it to heart. So if you don't want to listen to me, if you don't want to follow what I tell you to do, read. To give, to give glory unto my name, uh -huh. said the Lord of hosts. Believe it or not, we're not giving glory to God right now. We're right. giving glory to the devil. We're right. giving glory to the so-called white man that you see here, Cesar Bosch here. Right. We're giving glory to everything that is beneath the earth, not our true living God. Go ahead. I will. Even send a curse upon you. Read that part again. Read it again. I will even send a curse upon you. Now you wonder why we curse? And I'm, I'm going to make it more plain for you. Watch this. Read. And I will curse your blessings. Yay. I have cursed them already. We already have been cursed. We already been cursed. He says, I'm going to curse your blessing. The blessing that I give you in Deuteronomy 33 chapter, I'm going to take that away from you. The priesthood that we had, he take that away from us. Read. Because ye do not lay it to heart. Because you don't listen to me. We were, we had a great position. The other 11 tribe used to bring us everything we need. Everything you desire was given by the other tribes. That goes into your tithing. Get out! Tithing was not for everybody, it was for you. Do you get a dime from tithing that church is giving today? Well, guess what? It was created for you. So why they get any tithing you get none? Bring it out. It's just to show your Christianity is a joke. Go ahead. Wait. Behold, I will corrupt your seed. God says even your children I'm going to corrupt. Watch this, watch this. And spray dung up, up, up on your face. You know when that happened? If you go to Haiti now, especially in the month that's coming up, November, November the 1st is what you call uh, Day of the Dead. The same thing that they are celebrating here in October 31st is the same thing. We're celebrating it on the 1st 
Guess what we do on that day? We put uh, a dung over our face. We roll yeah. in uh, mud. Doing all kinds. God back. says, I'm going to do that to you to bring you in a low estate. Go ahead. Behold, I will corrupt your seed uh -huh. and spread dung up on your faces, uh -huh. even the dung of your solemn feast. Even, and, the, even the dung of your solemn feast. I'm going to show you something. Jump down to verse uh, 8 now. Verse 8. But ye are departed out of the way. What is the way that we depart from? The way of the Bible, keeping God's laws. We step away from that. Go ahead. Ye have caused many to stumble. Who is that many that he, we caused to stumble? Look over here. These are the 11 tribes that were supposed to be keeping God's laws. Because we were the ones supposed to teach them, we fell off. What do you think happened to them? No. Same thing, they fell off. He says, God says, you cause many to stumble at God's laws. Go ahead. Ye have caused many to stumble uh -huh. at the law. Uh -huh. Ye have corrupted the covenant of Levi. The covenant was we have inheritance with the Most High God. It was not with everybody. It was with God. We had it. Our inheritance was with the Most High God. We destroyed that covenant that we had with God, with Christ. We saith the Lord of hosts. Uh -huh. Therefore, because you did all this, because you caused these other tribes to fell off, because you separate yourself from me, this is what I'm gonna do to you. Go ahead. Therefore, have I also made you contemptible. What do you think the word contemptible means? Yes. Despise, hate, hate it. Well, let's read the whole context so you get it. Read it again. Therefore, have I also made you contemptible and base before all the people. He says, because of that, I will make you despised. I will make you hated. And I will make you in the bottom of all the people. Look at that. Aren't we in the bottom? Aren't we hated? People are saying they, their community is not doing well because of the Haitian. They saying we can't we can't get no benefit anymore because of the Haitian. Are you serious? This country was found over a uh, majority of people that are here are immigrants. Even them themselves don't belong here. They took the land from the natives, and which is our brothers. And yet they're calling you an immigrant just to show you the hypocrisy in there. But guess what? God will deal with them. We don't have to deal with them. I'm dealing with you to show you. What you must do another for us to get out of this constitution that Each one, teach one. What we're showing you is not for you to gain that knowledge. Say, oh, I know a whole lot. And that's it. No, 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 no. Give me Sirach chapter 33 and verse 17. Look at that. The whole purpose of you learning is not for only you. I learn, I don't learn only just for myself so I can boast myself. No, I learn so I can help my brothers. So right. I can help my sisters get out the condition that we are in. Because right. we're tired. We're tired of being in the bottom of society. You know? We're tired of being hated on every day, telling that we are scums. We are the we are roaches. That's we definitely. The book of Sirach, chapter 33, verse 17. Consider that I labor not for myself only. Our objective is always. Self or self glory. We learn so we can help our brothers and sisters. Right? Yeah. To show them the condition that we are in is not something you should be okay with. That's why I was mentioning about those that are here. Those that are here are feel so comfortable that they don't care about those that are back home. Look at that. Not knowing that we are in filth. We eating things that we have no business eating. Yet, yeah, yeah. Guess what? Are you telling me what they're eating? Uh, in Haiti or here is abomination. Don't we eat pork? Don't you don't you think that's abomination in the eyes of God? That's the same thing as eating cat, dog, uh, 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 chips, uh, what other animal, horse. All these animals are filth. None of us should be eating those things. Duck. But yet, the reason why we getting uh, the shine that we're getting right now, God wants you to repent. Look at him. God trying to afflict us like my brother just pulled out earlier. Give me uh, Isaiah chapter uh, 59 and 2. 
the one that stays separate, uh, God has spread himself in us. The reason why we going through what we going through because we stop keeping God's laws and God separated himself from us. And we can change that. Watch this. The book of Isaiah, chapter 59, verse 2. But your iniquities have separated between you and your God. Your iniquities is your sin. Your sin is what caused you to be separated from God. You wonder why God don't hear our prayers? That's why, because we in sin. He does not hear our prayers. But here's what we should do though. There's the up way. There's a way we can get out of this. Watch this. Give me uh, 1 Kings chapter 8. Let's see what Solomon prayed in our behalf. Listen to our forefather, how he vouched for us. Watch this. First Kings chapter eight, verse 46. Pay attention, my brother. If, they, point right there. if they sin against thee, for there's no man that sinneth not. He said, Solomon said, if Israel, your people sin against you, for there's no man that didn't sin, we all sin. Solomon knew he sinned himself. He had to repent it at the end. Solomon went off, but now here's his prayer to God on our behalf. He said, if they sin against you, because there's no man that didn't sin, go ahead. And thou be angry with them, and deliver them to the enemy. And deliver them to the enemy. We were delivered to the enemy, because this is us right here. That happened to us, so we know that happened. What Solomon is praying about is not a lie. Go ahead. So that they carried them away captives unto the land of the enemy. Didn't that happen to us? Were we carried away captive to the land of the enemy? We do. This, we were brought here to do what purpose? To be slaves. Okay, go ahead. Far or near. Far from Jerusalem and close to Jerusalem. Read on. Yet, if they shall be thank themselves. What do you think Solomon mean by that scripture? He says, but, but yet, if they shall be thank themselves. What do you think that means? Huh? Watch this, I'm gonna show you. Give me uh, that whole two, verse three. The book of Baruch, chapter two. But just to show you, the Bible explain itself. You just gotta know how to do precept upon precept to make it plain for our brothers and sisters to understand. Go ahead. The book of Baruch, chapter two, verse 30. Uh -huh. But I knew that they would not hear me. That day is Israel. God says, I know they're not gonna listen to me. Why? Because it is a stiff necked people. He says, because we are stiff necked. We are hard headed people. We stubborn. We are rebellious. That's us. Go ahead. But in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves. This is but in the land of their captivity, where they're gonna be put on to do slave work. They're gonna what? Remember themselves. Get you gotta remember who you are. Bro. You gotta remember that you're not Haitian, my brother. Haitian was a name that was given to our forefather. Remember, Tusa Louvertu was not Haitian, was he? How could it be Haitian? The name Haiti wasn't invented yet. So if our forefather is not Haitian, how do we get the name Haiti? Go ahead. The book of 1 Kings chapter 8, verse 47. Uh -huh. Yet if they shall be thank themselves. Yet if they shall remember who they are in the land of their captivity. Go ahead. In the land where they were carried captive. You see how it says the same thing? Except a little bit plainer, same thing. Go ahead. Where did they were carried captives? And repent. And do what? Repent. And repent. Like right, right, right now, brother, you already have your beards on. That's what's up. Because the Bible says we should have beard on our face. It's a badge of manly dignity. That's how you can separate the men from the boys. By you have your beard on your face. That's God's laws. And on top of it, he separate his people. We are separate people. That's how you can identify the children of Israel 
by those uh, 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 commandments, by those laws. Those laws was created to separate us from them. The other nation, when I say them, when you see we have fringes on our clothes, that's what separates us from them. Okay, we don't. And repent. And repent. What does it mean to repent? Okay. Okay. Uh, all right. Let me let me show you what it says because I, I, I want it to be uh, easy for you to understand exactly what God's want for you. This is what it means to repent. The book of Acts, chapter three, verse nineteen. Repent ye therefore and be converted. You hear what God says? Repent ye therefore and do what? And be converted. And what conversion? Change over. What God calls you to change? What God calls you to change? Yes. Watch this. That's that's good what you're saying. But let's show you what this is. The book of Psalms, chapter 19, verse 7. The law of the Lord is perfect. God's laws are perfect. Read. Converting the soul. What converts you? Converting the soul. What converts you? The law of the Lord is perfect. God's laws are perfect. You see what can make you perfect, my brother? By keeping God's laws. What is the nation? is men leading by example. Nation is family. 